I'm out on a farm late afternoon about two hours before dusk after a rabbit. I'm at the top corner of a field tucked into the hedge which gives me a good natural hide and I've had rabbits from this location in the past. The position gives me a view down two hedgerows and I'm tucked in in the top right hand corner although most of the times the rabbits appear from the hedgerow on the left which is close to the woods. This is the view of that hedge through the scope. The rifle I have on this occasion is a 177 Virarc 100KT loaded with JSB Exact Heavy Pellets 10.34 grain in 4.52 and topped with a Hawk 3 to 12 by 50 fast mount scope. I'm using a PARD NV007V to film the shooting and the shooting stick is a Primos Gen 3. After a while a rabbit appeared but over 60 yards away. I've used a handheld rangefinder to mark the distances using features and this is way too far for me so I needed to be patient in the hope the rabbit would move along the hedge in my direction and get closer, ideally 45 yards or less. I needed the rabbit to move to about this location and ideally come in from the hedge. I waited for what seemed ages observing some of the other wildlife thinking this rabbit is not coming any closer and no other rabbits appearing. It was not possible for me to try and stalk closer as I'm positioned at a high point and if I were to move the rabbit would see me straight away so I just had to wait. Eventually I was in luck the rabbit moved closer and I reckon it was 45 yards so the shot was on. I'm not sure what happened there to completely miss. Either I got the distance wrong and not enough hold over, or I moved the rifle at the point of firing. Looking at the footage later, I think the pellet went under the chin, but better a complete miss than a bad hit and the rab rabbit running off injured. I think it may have been further than I thought and I needed to hold over more. Later you will see some other equipment used that would help to get a better reading of the distance and easier to use than a handheld rangefinder. I'm realising that this is so important to be as sure as you can about the distance you're shooting, particularly when it's well over your zero. Unfortunately, no more chances on this session, so I plan to come back the next evening. This time I'm in the same location, but in a different position, hiding amongst some trees. The wind on this occasion is, is in a different direction, so a better position. And if a rabbit comes out at the same spot as the day before, it will give me a closer shot. I also have a good view of the hedge on the other side of the field. There's a few cows about up this end of the field, but chances are they will move on out of the way. To help with accurate and easier range finding, I have with me an LEO32 range finder as an add-on. I usually use this at night when it's more difficult to judge the distances but decided for all the rabbit shooting it will be a great asset as rabbits can move around and appear from anywhere. With the crosshairs on the target it's just a matter of pressing a button to take the reading then pressing again to lock that reading. With this if a rabbit is moving around I can easily get any changes in the distance. Well, just my luck, on this occasion it didn't look too promising at this location and with an aching backside sitting down, I decided it's time for a wander to another spot.
For a while I tried the ambush tactics at another spot, but again no sign of rabbit, so once again time for a move. On walking along a hedgerow I noticed a rabbit go into the hedge, as it had seen me before I saw it. However, at least I saw a rabbit, so I decided to set up here in the hope the rabbit may come back out. This location definitely looked more promising as I noticed another rabbit out on the other side of the field at 45 yards, which would have been a shot, but for one big problem or several big problems, a lot of cows close by. Therefore, with the cows that close, there is no way I would risk a shot just in case of a ricochet. Just imagine if you thought you had a clear shot and just about to pull the trigger when this happens. Anyway, the cow saw that rabbit back into the hedge, but at least there were good signs in this area, so I decided to wait. I was in luck, as back over my side of the field, either the rabbit I originally saw, or another rabbit came out of the hedge and presented a clear, safe shot. I ranged the distance at 24 yards, so with the rifle zeroed at 30 yards and a nearly flat trajectory from 15 yards to 35 yards, it was aimed dead on. Well, a bit of patience paid off in the end and a rabbit for the pot, but time to get back home. Hopefully, with the nights drawing in, I can get out for some nighttime rabbit shooting when there are more rabbits out. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.